What's up everyone, it's Jack here. So for those that don't know, today is my 15th birthday. And you know, I got a few presents. I got a sound system which can play cassettes and CDs and then, you know, put a uh, vinyl player on the top. And uh, something I got for my birthday was this. I actually bought this with my dad from HMV in Meadow Hall, uh, which is a mall that's near me in Sheffield, uh, on the release date in June. And uh, my dad said to me, oh yeah, you can have it, I'll get you it, uh, I'll just put it away till your birthday, which is what I did. So my birthday is coming around, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to unbox this on camera. So this is Lamb of God's self-titled album, Lamb of God, released in June 2020. First album released in five years, and it's also the first album with the new drummer, Arts Cruise. So without further ado, let's get the Lamb of God box set open. Okay, so now we have it open. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Awesome. So let's get it open. Wow, okay. So first off here, we have this awesome CD, compact disc, the track listing on the back. We'll get this open later and see the booklet design and stuff. Here we have a little pad to put on your, your turntable to put the actual vinyl on. That's really cool. Next we have this awesome limited edition Lamb of God poster. Really looking forward to getting that up in my room. And then lastly, we have the actual vinyl itself. Some incredible artwork there. You know, you've got your A side, you've got your B side. That just looks immaculate. It's perfect. Really looking forward to spinning that. That looks amazing. So I believe that's it. And yeah, of course, you've got the back. Brilliant. So we're going to get the disc open and we'll have a look in there. And then, you know, I'll discuss my thoughts on the album and we'll go from there. So here is the CD. Let's get it open. So here it is, the Lamb of God self-titled release 2020 in CD format. Okay, that's really nice. Love the disc design here with the with the clock. Um, try and spin it around the right way. Finally, there we've got the Lamb of God logo. You know, you've got all your credits and... and Copyright things, I think, around the side. You've got your Nuclear Blast there, which is the label that Lamb of God work with. And then you've got your track listing there. We've also got a bonus track called Ghost Shaped People. So I believe here we have the booklet, I think. Yep, there's a booklet that kind of comes out there. That's cool. So here we have the booklet. You know it's going to be a good album when you see... This sign there, folks. Gears, Resurrection Man, New Colossal Hate, Checkmate, Memento Mori, Roots. Pretty cool photo of Lamb of God there with the members. Reality Bath, Bloodshot Eyes, Fan Cues and Production. Got some, oh, that's cool. Got some uh, recording photos there. Some more stuff there, like a little gallery almost. Really, really, really think that's cool. So there we have it. That is the CD for uh, their new album. So we'll put the, uh, the booklet back in there. I'm looking forward to putting that on later on my new sound system. Just before we wrap this up, I think I'm just going to go and give this a quick spin.
So now I'm just going to briefly review each track individually. We'll start off with the opening track, Memento Mori, or Mori, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. But this is um, one of the tracks that they released as a single before they released the entire album. And I must say it's my least favourite of um, the singles that they released, which I believe was Checkmate, obviously. Memento Mori, and I believe, was it Roots? I think they did Root. I think they released uh, Roots as well, which features Chuck Billy from the band Testament, which we'll get onto in a bit. But yeah, it's, it's one of my, it's not one of my favourites of the album, but it's, it's a well-structured song. Randy's vocals are really good on it, you know, a bit, it's, it's a tight song, but it just doesn't do anything special for me. We'll move on to one of my favourite tracks of the, uh, of the album, which is Checkmate. This is the first song that they released as a single, uh, and that's when they announced that they're going to be releasing a new album. And uh, this album was actually, there was actually a delayed release. Um, for COVID, um, which I think it was either at the end of May or at the start of June, it was due to come out, uh, but then it, it was pushed to later June, which is fine, it still came out, which is fine, but just had to wait a bit longer, but it was definitely worth the wait. So Checkmate is a brilliantly structured song, it's got a great music video too. It's very Lamb of God, it's, yeah, there's a lot of groove to it. Again, Randy's vocals really shine, and also I love art drums in this, um, for those that don't know, unfortunately. Uh, Chris Adler parted ways with the band last year. Um, it's not been stated exactly why, however, um, I, I personally I don't know if it was on good terms, but I don't know. Um, there's a lot of um, mixed opinions uh, in regards to who's better. He's not as big as the Joey J situation, however, you know, Chris Adler's Chris Adler, he's a brilliant drummer, but Art, is, Art has had some very big shoes to fill and he's done it amazingly and um, it, sounds, it sounds immaculate, so... Uh, you know, in regards to the drumming, not just on Checkmate, but on all the songs, it's absolutely brilliant. So big props to Art for all for all those incredible parts. Gears, another good track. Again, not one of my favourites, but it's there. I, I, it's probably like a bit of an album filler for me. I'm not sure, but again, a good track does what it needs to do, and you know, it's not something that I'd skip if it came on. We'll then move on to Reality Bath. This is another one of my favourites off the album. A really well structured track. Again, amazing vocals from Randy, just like on all the tracks of this album. And the bass really comes through on that as well, which is great. Johnny's a really underrated bassist. And um, obviously Willie and um, Mark's riffs are really, really good in that song. Then we've got New Colossal Hate. I forgot to mention earlier, this is another one of the singles that they released. And again, this is probably my second or third favourite off the album. Uh, it's really, really groovy at the start. It just comes in. You know, all that kind of groovy stuff. Again, which is very Lamb of God, really groovy, uh, but very heavy at the same time. Uh, as the song progresses through, it, it gets, um, you know, it, it kind of goes back into um, a, a solid beat from art there and the, and the guitars are doing something more consistent. And then the drum part, um, you know, develops and um, the, the whole song is just a really really well thought out song and I really really like it so that is definitely my second or third favourite on the album so definitely go and check out New Colossal Hate. Then we'll move on to the next track which is Resurrection Man. Again nothing special for me however it's a good track I enjoy listening to it but it doesn't stick out to me as much as say Checkmate or New Colossal Hate or On The Hook which we will come on to in uh, a little while. Then we'll move on to the seventh track of this album, which is Poison Dream, which actually features Jamie Jaster, a brilliant vocalist, and I'm a massive fan of Hatebreed myself. So to combine Lamb of God and Hatebreed in, uh, in a song is brilliant. And I love how, they've, um, how Lamb of God have got some uh, guest uh, artists, like some solo artists, that, um, well, not solo artists, but guest artists to come in and do like, um, a, a, and do like a solo element in the song. Or, you know what I mean? Just kind of collaborating with other musicians they're uh, doing very well in the metal scene and you know for the for this very highly anticipated album but again a really good song and i really really enjoy listening to it so tops to that one then we'll move to roots really powerful really heavy really really like it definitely probably another one of my favorites off the album so just a solid song uh you know again there's nothing that makes me go but at the same time, it's very, very good. And it, it's kind of like less is more almost, which I really, really like about that. So, you know, that's definitely a great one. And then speaking of less is more, we'll move on to the next track, which is Bloodshot Eyes. It's very, very simple for Lamb of God. It's a fairly short song too. The chorus is very catchy. However, it's another one of my favourites off the album. And, um, you know, when the chorus comes on, I'm just singing, Bloodshot Eyes, you know, that kind of thing. 
Um, and you know, very very simplistic, but you know, it, it does a lot for, for considering how simple it is, if that makes sense. That's another prime example that less is more sometimes, and um, it really shines through in that because it's definitely one of my personal favourite songs off the album. Move on to another one of my favourite songs. This is the last track. This is the last official track, really, if you look on streaming services, and that is the last official track. Obviously, we'll go on to the bonus track next. Uh, but on the hook, um, now, this is the opposite of less is more. Well, it's not more is less, but I mean, like, th this is quite a complex song. It's very heavy. I know it's definitely one of my favourites in the band. I mean, Steel Mage, it's also one of their favourites too. You know, I know Louis and Tommy like it. I think Tom does too. So, um, you know, you've got to love a bit of Lamb of God. But on the hook, it's just an amazing, amazing track. Um, and it's a great closing track for this album. Anyway, we'll move on to the bonus track now, Ghost Shape People. This is an absolutely phenomenal bonus track. Uh, there's a lot of good double kick work from Art in there. Really, really groovy riffs. It's a really nice, fast piece. Great, great intro, and again, brilliant, brilliant vocals from Randy. So I think this is a brilliant bonus track, and it's a great idea, in my opinion, to include a little bonus track like that on the hard copies, so it gives someone a bit more of an incentive to uh, you know, make the purchase for that and it's definitely not one that you want to miss. So if you want to hear this track, please, please do get a hard copy of this album as it is not one to miss. I hope they play it live, I'm not sure if they will, but nevertheless, this is an absolutely fantastic track. So to wrap it up, I'd give this album a solid nine and a half out of 10. Little half that is just not there is because there's, there's a, a couple of tracks I mentioned, there's, there's nothing that make me go, Hoo -hoo! you know, there's nothing that really makes me go, well, no, well, I don't say nothing, but in those particular tracks, um, whereas for a 10 out of 10, it's got to be a perfect, amazing album for me. Um, but I'm not saying that this is a bad album at all. I'd probably say that this is probably my favourite Lamb of God album. Um, you know, usually the case with, with newer music, it, it can... It, it can be a bit dodgy and it can be like, oh, the older stuff's better, you know, all that kind of stuff. But this is this just, it just seems like Lamb of God is like a fine line, just gets better with age. Really enjoyed playing it as well on drums and just listening to it. And um, the art, as far as the artwork goes, that's absolutely incredible. I love the colours and I love how they've incorporated the little clock in there and stuff. And that's, that's stayed apparent on the disc design and on the vinyl design too. The box set was really, really well laid out and really well thought out, you know, with the poster and, and the other bits and bobs that were in it. It's really nice to include that little turntable mat as well that, with the Lamb of God logo, so that's brilliant. So overall, this is an absolutely incredible album. So stream it on Spotify, go to iTunes, go to wherever you listen to music, go to HMV, buy it. I highly recommend this album. It's a brilliant album. So now I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that is still with me at this point and I've not bored the shit out of them. So thank you very much for watching this, guys. Uh, if you want me to make more album reviews, more stuff that's music related, well, obviously it's a music related channel, but I mean, you know, that's not necessarily just drumming, uh, then please let me know because I do enjoy making these videos, but if you, it's just if you enjoy, in, enjoy viewing them as well. So again, thank you very much for watching, guys. Be sure to like, subscribe and comment. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.